Hello and welcome to a one-off show called Blue Oyster Cult Does Not Make You Vomit. Many years ago, before I had a CD player, I was listening to this, Secret Treaties on Vinyl. And yes, this is the early press on CD with the green lettering instead of red. Uh, my wife likes the red better, but uh, that's why it pops out more. But anyway, so I had this on vinyl back before I had a CD player. And, uh, you know, back before vinyl was cool, again, because of the hipsters, but anyway, that's besides the point. So I had this, and I'm listening to it, and I was listening to ME-262, and it's a part where all the soldiers are marching, and the bombs are going off, and the air raid sirens, and all that. And I happened to have had a cold at the time I was sick. Now, I didn't have what everyone has now. But anyway, so I had to throw up. So the song finishes, I, I go into the bathroom. I throw up. Now, my, mind you, not like Mr. Creosote. But I'll not get much into that because my wife is having lunch. But anyway, so I do that and I come out and my mother goes, You alright? I said, Yeah, I was just sick. I lost my lunch. She goes, Well, it's because of that noise you listen to. She's trying to tell me that listening to Blowers to Cope made me lose my lunch. That's fucking nuts. I just happened to be sick. If anything would have made me lose my lunch, it would have been all that Barbara Streisand and Jim Croce and all that crap she listened to. Blue Oyster Cult does not make you vomit. They rock. They still rock. I've seen them eight times. I've caught a Buck Dharma guitar pick. I love this band. They'll make you throw up. Uh, also, uh, another, uh, throw in another one here. Uh, uh, at the same time, I was listening to Kiss, uh, Creatures of the Night War Machine was playing, and I guess I had it a little loud, I don't know. My mother knocks on the door, she says, turn that music down, it's loud enough to wake the dead. And I said, well now I know why you're walking around and I shut the door in her face. BAM!